guys, it's Titi and today I'm in Bloxburg and my neighbor has an amazing house and he is letting us go inside and he's gonna give us a little tour. It's such an amazing place. You guys know how much I love seeing people's houses because it's just so creative and this is a really impressive home. He has so much Halloween decorations up already. It is awesome. He has little ghosts and pumpkins and so cool. And look at this huge space. Oh my goodness. If I could build a house this big, I would roommate everyone. <laughs> so nice. He has a dance floor, TVs and arcade machines. Wow. And he he is PVP. I can't really see the rest of his username. It's hard to read these hard Roblox usernames. We have Tammy. She says, I love your voice. Thank you, Tammy. And have Little Miss Glitter, Jacqueline. So we're here in the little bar area. He's cooking pizza. There is popcorn. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, guys, that are here joining me today in this video. I really want to eat some popcorn though. I hope he doesn't mind. I'm just going to go behind the counter and grab some popcorn for myself. Oh, he even has an ice cream machine. Yum! I hope you don't mind. I'm just making myself at home. Little Miss Glitter is giving me hot chocolate and ice cream. Oh, oh, I think we got kicked out of the house. Jacqueline is striking a pose. Ding! <laughs> I think he's like fixing. It's okay. No big deal. You guys gonna take a bath though, you're all very stinky. Everyone is dirty. I realize that the real creative people never take baths on Bloxburg because they're like creating. No time to take a bath or eat. Oh, but he's letting us back in his house. And I really wanna see the second floor because it is a huge house. So there's a little dance floor here so we can have a dance party. Come, hot tub here. You have a hot tub. Ooh, I don't have a hot tub in my house. I need to step up my game because I am missing out on this Bloxburg luxurious lifestyle. <laughs> Let's go see what's upstairs. Ooh, This place is so big. He must have like 15 rooms up here. I need to get my design skills so I can build like a huge hotel and let everybody stay. Oh, hi there. Fun, you a gala. <laughs> That's really hard to read. Your house is goals. I'm a little jealous. He even has like lights, so what's in here? Ooh, it's like a kid room with little elephants and there's toys you can play with. Oh, this is really cool. I like this room. Oh, look, she's already making herself at home. And this room has a really nice view. Look at my tiny little house in front. <laughs> and you guys, Goldie is in the server and we're trying to find her. Some of you guys saw her before I did on the server, but where is she? Goldie, I'm here in front of this huge house. Oh, there she is in her skateboard. <laughs> that is so cute. She has gotten so big. Hi, Goldie, you're so big now. You must be like, I don't know, like a toddler by now. What are you doing here, Goldie? Just playing, have no money or house. Oh, and no friends. It's okay, we'll be your friends, right girls? You have all these friends here. People say I'm a baby. Oh no, I think you're getting bullied, <laughs> but I'm a big girl. Well, you sure have gotten a lot bigger. I see, I see you've grown. <laughs> you can come stay with me if you don't have a house. Don't be sad, Goldie. <laughs> She's just sitting down, it's so sad. It's okay. She wants to show us where she lives and we're all gonna follow her. She told me that she had a house she wanted to show us, so I don't really see a house here. This must be where she lives, but there, there's no like roof or anything or walls. It's just, it's just a bed and a chair. Um, I knew you guys will make fun of me. No, we're not making fun of you. DIY lover, you're so sweet. She says, it's cute. Oh, I think Goldie got a little embarrassed of her house and she's running away. Please don't go. Oh, everyone's being so nice to her, so maybe she'll she'll change her mind. Don't run away. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. We care about you. 
Oh, there's two Goldies now. I see two, two of them dressed the same way. It's okay. Oh, she gives her a hug. <laughs> I'm gonna do a surprise for Goldie, and I hope it will make her feel better. Goldie, come back to my house. I have a surprise for you. I don't want you to be sad because you don't have a big house. It doesn't really matter. I was sad no one wanted to play with me. People will like you for who you are, not for what you have. So don't worry, just be yourself. I have a surprise for you and I hope it's gonna make you feel better. Surprise, what, 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 what? Well, you really told me you like the color pink. So, <laughs> follow me, let's show her the surprise. Ready, close your eyes. Surprise! Now you have your very own room. And I didn't have much time to decorate it, but I did the best I could. You have some toys, some books. I hope you like it. Yay, she loves it. That banana is almost as big as her. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you have your bed here. I gave you some little lights, some balloons, lots of books so you can read some stories. Oh, I think she really likes the books. A little chair. <laughs> Why don't you go and play with some of your toys? You have a few stuffed animals over here. <gasps> oh, like this really fluffy unicorn. <laughs> He's so cute, right? Oh, I think she likes a unicorn. It is so fluffy. <laughs> you have more toys here, like the octopus. Are they really giant banana? Yeah, I think she's scared of the banana. He's a little creepy. Are you a little bit hungry? Well, we can go and make something. Why don't you take a seat? I'll see what I have in my fridge. I don't have a lot of cooking skills yet, but I think I have, let's see. I can either make hot dogs or tacos. Um, would you like hot dogs or tacos? Tacos are your favorite? Perfect. I'm gonna cook up some tacos here. Have all my ingredients all laid out. Let's start by cooking the meat. Let it brown up. Perfect. Oh, it smells so yummy. Now we can just start making the tacos. Add some lettuce, some tomato, and some salsa, and ready. That was so easy, and I didn't burn them. So go ahead and enjoy your tacos. I hope you like them. Yeah, you can have some more. Wow, she was really hungry. Do you want to watch a movie? All right, but I think it's time for a bad time. You should go take a bath and brush your teeth and everything. Put your pajamas on because it is getting very, very late for you. And I'll do the same. But don't forget to close the door. All right, so I'm going to go take a bath while she gets ready for bed. Aw, you have unicorn pajamas. They're super cute. Yes, I really like them. Now you should brush your teeth, please, because... You had all those tacos <laughs> and popcorn. Good job. Wow, taking care of a little kid is exhausting. Perfect, you're all ready. Go rinse your mouth. Okay, here's your room. Now you can go to sleep. Um, Sure, I'll read you a story. Let's choose a book. Alrighty, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldie. She went for a walk in the forest and pretty soon she came upon a house. She knocked and when no one answered, she walked right in. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldie was so hungry. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl. Porridge is too hot, she said. So she tried the second bowl and it was too cold. And then the last bowl was just right. And blah, 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 the end. Okay, time to go to sleep. <laughs> Great story. Okay, well, lights out. It's time to go night-night. I'm really glad you liked the story. Aw, she feels much better. I'm so happy you feel better. Now it's time to sleep because you might have to be going to daycare soon. Bedtime hugs. <laughs> Good night, Goldie. Aw, she looks so comfy in her little bed. Well, guys, this is the end of the day here at Bloxburg. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos with Goldie. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.